How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a Nintendo Switch emulator on your PC. Now if you've clicked on this video, you want to play Nintendo Switch games like, I don't know, Zelda, Mario, Super Smash Bros, Pokemon maybe, but you have a PC and you don't have a Nintendo Switch. That won't be a problem, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the emulator suit. So link in the description will be this page to suit you, you're going to want to press get to you. Alright, so when you're on this page, uh, it'll be Linux, Android, Windows, or Mac OS. I'm going to be installing it for Windows. So just wait for that to finish, then go to your downloads, extract that, and boom. If you've got this on like an external hard drive, like a USB stick, you can put it on there, and it'll save, but then you're going to want to open it, and this right here is the app, so you're going to want to double click Sui. Alright, so when you guys open Sui, there'll be an error thing on the thing saying about encryption keys, just press OK. What you're going to want to do is search up Suyu keys and find someone to install it. I'd recommend getting the latest version. I think you have to, to be fair. And then you're going to want to search up Suyu firmware. And you're going to install that off the actual website as well. So install the firmware and keys. Once you've done that, extract the firmware file and the keys file. Go back onto Suyu file, open Suyu folder, keys, then get your Suyu installed. I've already got them in there because I've already done this but you can drag them in there if you haven't already. Then you can close that and restart the app so when you restart it the encryption error should not pop up. There we go. It already doesn't pop up for me because I've already got the keys but for you guys it shouldn't now anyway. Yeah so the firmware folder will have all of this in here so what you're going to want to do is press tools, install firmware and then version where the folder is. Don't go in the folder just left click and to press select folder. Then it will start installing and then it should be done pretty quickly. Alright, so now we're going to install some games, so I'm going to get Super Smash Bros. The thing is, when you go on a lot of websites, they'll start taking you to different websites, and there's a chance you could press the wrong thing and get a virus. But the only website that I found doesn't do that is switchrom.net. So you can go ahead and install the game off here. You're going to want to press the NSP ROM, and then install that. You can install any games you want, by the way. This is just an example, because I do like this game. Then when you go back onto Suyu, double click to add new folder, find where your games are. So I've got mine in a separate folder, so emulator, Nintendo Switch, ROMs, and you just want to left click that, that's where I've put all my game files in. So once you've installed the game, you can put them in a folder, and then that's the folder you're going to want to select. Boom. I've only got six games at the minute, but yeah, you've got your games installed. Now the last thing we need to do is connect the controller so you can actually play these games. Okay, so you're going to want to go to emulation and then configure. Uh, you guys can also change, like, oh yeah, the hotkeys are here like uh, you want to do anything like full screen and stuff like that you know uh, you can go to graphics and you can change them to however you want advanced I've got mine on extreme because my computer's amazing but anyway go down to controls and then you're gonna want to make sure connect controller is green because if it's not or if it's like just blank like that nothing will happen so make sure your controller is plugged into your PC um, it is actually connected on this controller because you want to make sure the input device is that controller. It should start activating, everything works. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you're on an Xbox controller like me, you might have to swap some of the buttons wrong. So for me, I'm going to have to swap A, B, X, and Y because they're swapped around on the controller. So you're just going to hit B. That's where B is, then you're going to press B. Then that's where A is, you're going to press A. That's where Y is, you press Y. That's where X is, you press X. You don't have to do that, it's just better because otherwise, when you go onto the actual game, like for example, you press A, it'll press B, so it's just strange. Yeah, make sure it says connect controller up here, then you're gonna wanna press save, and then okay. Great, now your controller's connected. Then what we're gonna do is launch a game. So for example, I'm gonna be launching Super Smash Bros, just to test it out. All right guys, would you look at this? The game is actually working. Right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, as it's helping out a lot. If you guys need any help or want another tutorial or something, 